How you guys doing? We are talking about the Cup Series at Sonoma now. I and I'm back. I haven't shaved. It's a very rare situation where you see me with facial hair in in these days. I still haven't shaved since I got back. Uh, I just recorded a cruise control rant for like the first seven eight months. Uh, that's like forty five minutes. Did that to get all the rants stuff I've been wanting to talk about all the way. So this will probably be a shorter video. Uh, this is regarding the Cup Series at Sonoma. As I said, this is the first time we're going to Sonoma since two thousand sixteen without the stages. Actually, two thousand seventeen. Uh, so let's just very quickly look at that really fast. So this is, uh, when we look back at these races here, you're going to notice that Stewart stays out and gets lucky with a yellow coming out for him. He stays out for track position. He was going to sink through the field. Uh, he's saved by this yellow here, by the 95 being stopped on the track. Uh, if this does not come out, actually, it'll be, it's probably, I think it's the 91. I think it's lap 88 debris crash. Let me see. No, it is isn't. Yeah, so Stewart gets saved here by by the debris crash or by the debris yellow. Um, because realistically, uh, Hamlin should have won this race. Uh, Hamlin, to this day, still gave it to, to, to Stewart. Uh, bitter taste in my mouth for Stewart's last win. But Hamlin was going to run away with this race. Uh, Harvick runs the same strategy as Stewart. They stay out in gain track position. Uh, but for the most part... The guys who were up front were leading the entire race. That's just how it was. Stewart gets there purely on a lucky strategy, not a call on speed, not a strategy that even makes sense. It was just, let's let's hope for a yellow. They got a yellow. When we go back and look at races that don't necessarily follow that, we need a yellow, although it has happened before. Um, we see a majority of the laps, and these are the last two races. So the Stewart one happens, and Stewart starts 10th. This race here, we have some... We have quite a lot of yellows happen late in this race that bunches up the field and gives people chances to slightly get on different strategies. Uh, you know, we see Junior with a huge amount of place differential given or added here, but a, uh, a vast majority of the of the laps that are coming from guys up front, which is just how it's, I, I mean, you say guys up front, and this guy's eleven, this guy's second. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying here? Races that have gone green, which Sonoma should fucking do. It went green last year. We're seeing road course. I know Coda was stupid, okay, but that's just how Coda is. Sonoma, you spread the field out very quickly unless you got some guy wanting to just take some people out like they did with Cody Ware last year uh, or Ryan Priest last year, whoever the fuck it spun in the S's last year. You're going to see this race go green, okay? And, yes, these are instants late in the races, but we're seeing a vast majority. I mean, uh, A.J. Allmendinger speeds late in this race, Uh after he leads the first part of the race, uh, you know, you see A.J. Almeninger lead, then he speeds. So he's stuck in the back of the field, never able to get through the field. Outside of that, you have your main contenders here who, you know, McMurray, number one pit stall, starts in front, stays up there. Carl Edwards starts fourth, gets up there. A lot of these are place differential that comes through because all the leaders are wrecking late in this race. All these, all these wrecks are ones for up front. That's why we see so many teens and 20 guys finish the top 10. We see a lot of the guys starting in the top 10 finish here just because that's how it ended up going. Um, once we get to a race that actually, you know, pretty much went green until, the, especially at the very end, you, you see very little passing for the lead. You see very little passing throughout the field. Um, this is when Truex, uh, you strategy get the lead and then led uh, basically the second half of the race to get his first career, or second career win, first since 2008. Uh, you got Gordon up there. You got Kurt Busch up there. Uh, Marcus Ambrose leads the leads the early part of the race, uh, and so on and so forth. I know we're seeing at least it might come across, and and certainly projections will probably back it up depending on where people qualify. We are seeing people going from the teens and finishing the top ten, uh, and we're seeing um, we're not seeing a lot of place differential in the back of the field. We're not seeing a lot of guys really be able to go through the field. If you qualify in the back, it's because you're slow. If you, if you qualify in the back, as this is not a fast racetrack, okay? Unlike Watkins Glen, unlike Coda, is a very monotonous track, okay? So the second half of the field, in my opinion, is going to struggle to really pass people. And so for me, what I'm going to end up doing, uh, due to the fact that we have pretty good pricing with a lot of these drivers here, is I'm going to chase guys in the top half of the field, okay? I'm going to primarily... Build lineups that have guys in the top ten, in the top fifteen, and in the top twenty. I'm gonna very, I'm gonna really, really avoid the second half of the field unless like, and even if this happens, I'm tempted to not chase it. I'm tempted to really, really not chase place differential. But unless like somebody like Hamlin, 
doesn't take a Q lap and starts last. We'll have to see what the projections say. I'd give him like 18th right off the bat. I'd, I need I need to see what that would end up giving him with uh, with a place differential points on top of the DraftKings points that he would get. If that gets to you know a four seven or higher, then you could consider him. But if I see anything less than a four seven from somebody some from some place differential play, I'm very tempted to play people who are going to be up front. When we look at last year's race at Sonoma, okay. What happened? There was no passing last year in Sonoma. I understand we don't have the yellows, but for the most part, like, Larson stays up front all day if he just fucking pits at the end of stage one at Sonoma. It makes no sense of why they they kept him out to get those stupid-ass stupid, stupid ass stage points. But, like, even here, when we look at last year's race, very little passing up here. I know, I know we have Harvick, we have Cendric, we have Blaney. But for the majority, if you played guys in the top 10, you had a good chance of them maintaining run position in the top 10. You know, if you played Larson, he got stuck deep in the field, couldn't pass, but he still finished 15th. He had a fast car, he was able to at least get up to 15th. But I envision very little actual passing in this race. It'll be decided on pit lane, it'll be decided on strategy. But the second half of the field, okay, you know, this guy got 11 place differential points, 11 place differential points, zero, you know. Whatever this is, seven, two, whatever the case may be, I'm not laying out a lot of place different points in the back of the field. I am looking at the top half of the field. I'm looking to build that way. Um, and that's just how it is. And that that's how it is for both of these races. For I mean I can do I probably won't do Xfinity just because I'm recording this late on Thursday. We got the Xfinity series show on Saturday anyway, so it'll probably just be this cup series video here, but the same Argument applies, you know, when you look at Portland, Portland got so fucking stupid. I just barely got done rewatching that today. What a dumb race. These, these idiots in their first, their turn one shenanigans. It's insane. Um, but very much a uh, similar situation there for uh, uh, the Xfinity series. I will be live. I'm back. So I'll be, I'll be live Saturday and Sunday uh, talking about these races with you guys. And thank you very much for being here. Still supporting me. And I, uh, I look forward to the races this weekend. I'll see you guys then.